All right, no, so the next stroke that uh, we should probably um, work on is a bit of martelet. Um, and uh, with detaché, martelet, uh, and collet, um, that should be like the three basic strokes that should uh, that you should uh, probably practice a little more until um, I know you can do all of them. Um, I think the um, the key right now is that um, you should be able to uh, well you should go for being able to do them more consistently and um, uh, be more uh, hmm, how should I put it um, more. Con I don't know, confident, I guess, about the um, how you execute the stroke. Because I notice that sometimes um, uh, you execute the stroke, you know, uh, quite well, but you're not quite sure, you know, if you're doing it, is this quite collated? Um, is this quite detaché? Uh, so I would, um, you know, instead of just being able to do it, you know, I would make sure that um, uh, you're able to do it consistently so you know that comes from actually uh, understanding the concept and practicing that basic concept over and over for an extended period of time and that um, that uh, solidifies both the the mental as well as the physical aspects of the of learning about the bow stroke um, which so eventually you won't just be like uh, somebody who can you know you know who has the ability to do data shake hole and all these strokes but you could be like you know turn it on you know ah oh, this is data shake section you know exactly what to do and when it's not working you also know how to reverse engineer and you know um, break it down or and also um, you know like from your experience of practicing it you know what you need to do actually to get it back into shape this is very important you know because we all get out of shape and the the mark of the the professional violinist is um, knowing well what the strokes are you know, and all the tricks and all the kind of stuff but also knowing what kinds of uh, practice methods and exercises worked for him or her um, and so, so so that you can kind of get back into shape as fast as possible okay so um, look, well, um, rambling aside, let's get to martelet. All right, so martelet um, is best done uh, in the upper third of the bow, and it's very similar to uh, like staccato. So you always start with a little grab. Okay, so the pressure comes from the index finger as well as a little bit from the middle finger, but it's, since it's more up in the uh, the higher part of the bow, more of the pressure does come from the index finger. Okay. Um, now, so you get that nice stick, and then you go really fast and stop. Okay, and then you grab that string, get really, really nice and sticky, and you grab it and start and stop fast. So, stop, grab it, start, stop. Okay, um, so it's, it's actually very simple. Uh, just a few things to remember. After you grab the string, the release should not be, um, you shouldn't press through the bow stroke, okay? You should release with both speed and pretty much lightness in the bow, okay? And then come to an above stop. So stickiness and then release with speed and lightness, okay? Stickiness, release with speed and lightness. Ooh, sorry about that. Mm. These new strings are not doing me any good, are they? <laughs> Or it's probably just me. Okay. Okay. Now, um, you probably notice that I seem to be going very slow. Um, that's very important when you are practicing. Um, as you saw how I slipped, uh, very often um, that's not the only way people slip. People often slip um, um, by not grabbing the string properly. Again, I think I mentioned this in Kolei. Uh, practicing for kole, sometimes people will get it. They're so good. It's like, oh, this is easy. I got it. Sometimes even you know beginners get this stroke. They're like, oh, I got it. And then it's like, oh, I got it. And then, and then they go on like this, right? And then the stroke is ruined. The practice is ruined. So make sure that you reset the stroke every single time, absolutely perfectly. And this is very, very, very key uh, in terms of um, uh, the. 
it is key in terms of the, um, uh, the development and practice of a stroke. Okay? All right, so now with your three strokes, um, you should be uh, set, all set to go. Um, I might uh, make a quick video after this um, describing how you can balance all these basics and fundamentals. Just a suggestion. Uh, but um, by this time, you should have the, all the fundamental strokes that are required um, to kind of um, set up your basics in a more solid manner. Um, so, uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll talk to you soon, bye.